One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Mike Heading here. It's that time of year again. We're going to learn another Christmas tune. We're going to learn Hark the Herald Angels Sing. This is a great old song. It's got a great melody. We're going to learn it in the key of G relative to our capo. I've got my capo on the second fret, fifth string tuned up to A. So we're going to be thinking in the key of G but sounding in the key of A. We're going to learn the basic melody first. So you've got that part down. And then we're going to go over the age old question of how do you take that basic melody? and make it sound like scrub style bluegrass. Remember, it's not just adding rolls around the melody. We're gonna be approximating the melody using scrub style rolls. This is a great lesson to compare how do you take that basic melody and create a scrub style melodic phrase. That's what we're gonna focus on for this lesson. I'll break down the, all the solos note for note just as I played at the beginning, and then we'll go over some backup. This song has a couple extra chords, so it's a great backup lesson as well. All right, let's jump into Hark the Herald Angels Sing in the key of A. Here we go. All right, so let's start breaking down this basic melody for Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Remember, I've got my capo on the second fret, fifth string tuned to A. We're thinking in the key of G, but it's gonna sound like the key of A. So let's take this basic melody like four measures at a time. I think that's a good amount to learn in little fragments. All right, let's start breaking it down. Here we go. So we're going to start right away with the melody, open fourth string, and then open third string twice. I'm using my thumb three times in a row. You could also do thumb, index, index. Try a few different right hand combinations. Honestly, there's a few different ways you could play this. I have my recommended right hand fingerings listed below the tab, but you definitely don't have to follow those if you don't want to. Those are just what I recommend. So here we go. We're going. And then we're going to use our ring finger on the 4th fret of the 4th string and play that note on the AND of beat 4. So we're going 1, 2, 3, AND. If you count out all the beats, it would be 1, AND, 2, AND, 3, AND, 4, AND. And then into measure 2, I use my index finger, my right hand, I'm going to hit the open 3rd string. And then the open 2nd string twice. And then the 2nd fret on the 3rd string. All quarter notes. So let's kind of play those together. You have even slower. And then we have a little response lick open first string, middle finger of your right hand three times. Same rhythm as measure one. We're going to go uh, one, two, three, and on the and of beat four. So we go three open first strings. And then first finger, first fret, second string on the and of beat four. So you have one, two, three, and. And then open second string, second fret on the uh, third string and then open second string again. So you kind of go up the notes, you kind of start higher and then you go down on the second phrase. So you go. So let's put those four measures together. We have.
Might almost honestly be easier to play just a little bit faster. And then we actually start the phrase for measures five through eight. We, the first two measures are the same as one and two, so we repeat that same opening melody line. What's kind of cool, and we'll talk about this in the backup section, is that the chords actually change there. So the melody stays the same, but the harmony behind it changes, which is kind of a classic gospel thing to do. So that's what we're doing there. We'll break that down in the backup, but just you'll kind of hear that in the practice track. It's kind of an interesting little point to mention that the melody is the same there. But the second time we're changing the harmony behind it, which is kind of cool. And then we do another response phrase. We go up to the open first string. And then you can switch to your index finger if you want. This will just help you play the next part. I'm going to play the second fret twice. So you have... Or you can keep your, your middle finger down because you were just on that note. But we're going to have to grab this fourth fret up here. So kind of switching to your index finger just makes it a little bit easier. So again, coming out of measure six, you go... Open first string, flip your finger, and then on the A and to B4, we play this fourth fret, and then we walk it down, four, two, open. So you have. And what I'm doing with my right hand there is a little bit tricky, but it's good practice. I'm going middle finger, thumb, thumb of my right hand, and then index all the way up to the fourth string, which feels weird, and then thumb, index, thumb. And experiment, feel what, play around and see what feels best for you, but that's what I like to do. I go. So that whole phrase sounds like this. pretty easy phrase for measure 9 and 10. We go open first string, all quarter notes, three times. And then open third string. So you have just one, two, three, four, just straight quarter notes. And then a little response. First fret, second string. Open second string twice. And then second fret, third string. So kind of walking down those notes, all quarter notes. So we just play, don't rush it. That's probably the hardest part is just. And then we actually repeat that same phrase. A few more times, not too hard. I kind of like using my third finger on the second fret. I kind of pretending I'm going into the C here, and that just helps for the lead. And I'm going to play uh, second fret on the first string with my ring finger of my left hand. Play that note three times. And then open. First fret, second string. Open. First fret, second string with a half note. So that sounds like this. You have... with my right hand there is I'm going middle, 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 thumb, index, thumb. That's just what feels nice to me. And then a little response. We're going to go second fret, third string. And then a little single string run. So I go second fret, third string. And then open one on the second string. Thumb index with my right hand and then open first string, kind of running up those notes. And then index finger of my right hand, open third string, and then up the notes of the scale, three, two, one, two, three. Let's play that part together we have. So 
one, two, and three, and one, two, three, four. So put that whole part together, we have. something very similar just changing the rhythm where you go one and three four so instead of going one two three four now we're just changing the rhythm we're going one two and three four one two and three four and then this is all the same and then th this part's actually the same as well and then we just go it with the open third string instead of the open second string instead of walking back up now we just the second time we resolve it right so you have so let's play that whole basic melody here we go Alright, that's the whole basic melody. Now let's break down a bluegrass style solo you can use. <laughs> 